What's up guys, this is Tampa Tech and this is my son, Devin. Say hi, Devin. Hi, Devin. Right now we're gonna connect the S9 phone. On one side is a Type-C connection. On the other side, you have a HDMI connection that supports up to 4K resolution. And on this side of the HDMI connection, you have an LED status light. And then we also have USB for power. This is to charge your phone. Now you can use the USB connection on your TV, but if you don't have one available on your TV, then you can use a USB connection on your power bank. That works as well, which is a five volt, one amp or five volt, two amp connection. This one supports one amp and two amp as well. So let's go ahead and get started. I unplugged the fire stick. We're gonna plug in the HDMI port and HDMI one. And this is just a standard 1080p. Uh, a sharp TV and it works for all the TVs as well and then we're going to plug the USB into the USB port on the TV and let's go ahead and connect to your phone now Samsung phones have a notification which you have to tap on and accept that signal go swipe down from the notifications settings you have to wait for it to go to that screen all right go ahead and accept the signal tap on the mouse pad now you use this phone as a mouse pad. Go ahead and um, double click and it opens up in the, yeah. yeah. So we got YouTube right here and you can play a video, just short video. All right, go ahead and pause it. All right, so as you noticed, the audio is coming from his phone. We're gonna switch the audio to the TV. Now let's go ahead and do that. To do that, I'm gonna go to this side. To do that, you have to press on either the volume up button or the volume down button. And on the bottom right of the screen, you can see it brought up this little menu. And to change the audio output, you could tap on that once. And then you can change it to the display device and it will switch it to the TV or whatever right. you have your audio. Go ahead and hit play. Close that out. And then, of course, you have to raise the volume on your TV if you want the volume up. <laughs> there you go. So you can use the volume control on your phone and the TV remote. All right, so exit out of that and um, let's go ahead and go to the browser and this uh, show the pinch zoom. For some, I'm going to click on the image. My home screen. There you go. Double. There you go. You can zoom in and out. And then you can also turn it sideways, right? Press that button. Now you can get out of Dext. This is a Dext feature. There's a way to get out of Dext feature where it just mirrors your phone. Uh, on Samsung phones, it, it shows up as a Samsung Dex desktop like format. Um, other phones, it may just mirror your phone. So if you're holding your phone vertical, it'll show vertical. If you turn your phone horizontal, it'll show horizontal. You want to get out of that mode? You just simply tap out of it and there you have your phone mirrored and let's go ahead and go to YouTube and if you hold it this way it you know, shows vertical and of course horizontal and if you want to raise the volume you can raise the volume on your TV if you still don't have volume raise the volume on your phone right, so we're gonna try on my Samsung flip phone plug it in See if it works. Probably not. It's a really new phone. It says weak or no signal. And I don't have a notification that shows up either. So it doesn't look like it works on the Samsung flip phone. But let's go ahead and plug it into this USB bank just in case the, um, the USB port is too weak. And I plug it into a 2 amp USB port and it looks like it's still not working. So flip it over, let's see, it's just a connection issue. No, so it doesn't support the Samsung flip phone. But eventually it might. It could be a Samsung flip three update, who knows. Now you could pause the screen if you like. These are the phones that are not compatible with the cable. And these are the laptops that are compatible with the cable. And these are the phones that are also compatible with the cable.
All right, so next we're gonna plug it into this projector. This is a portable projector that you can take on camping trips, which is really cool. And it has a built-in battery pack that lasts up to three hours of movie time, which is really cool. So let's go ahead and try it out. We're gonna go outside and try it out on his Samsung S9 phone. All right, let's go ahead and turn it on. My son just turned it on. There's a LED status light letting you know it's on. And we're gonna plug it into one of these ports in the back right here. Uh, so we have USB and HDMI port right here. All right, so let's go ahead and do that. And so far it's barking on this wall. That's autofocus, it should autofocus on this wall. All right, it's doing the autofocus. All right, ready? Let's go ahead and plug it in, Devin. All right, now plug in the Type-C connection to your phone. And then accept the signal on your notification settings. Swipe down. You gotta wait for it to switch, I think. Oh, I have to switch using the remote. All right, so we're gonna switch to HDMI. Here we go. Oh, it's working. There we go. I gotta Very cool. Yep, that's your phone, right? So those are the connections. There's the HDMI connection and a USB connection right here. And then it connects to the phone. Dog approving. Oh, well, that's how you work it, right? Yep. My son wanted me to show you guys this. So let's go ahead. Shake. Bang! Good boy. Don't forget to like and subscribe this video and share it to all your friends that think this would be interesting. Click on the link uh, if you're interested in the projector or the cable. See you guys next time.